I've been running around hunting for the last 35 minutes, and this is the first sighting of any animal that we've seen. We got some mouflon out here at 550 yards out. Now, as we're heading over here, I'm going to show you on the map what I hunted today. I started here, hunted all this, all the way through this mountain, just loop back down here, and then all the way down to here, and we finally got eyes on some mouflon out there at about 500 yards. Now, they're so far out that I don't even know how big they actually are. What I do know is there's definitely one good ram right there for sure. So, I think we just might go for a shot on him. Unless there happens to be an even bigger one, which there could be, but honestly, I don't think there is. So, I feel like we should probably just get lined up, go for a nice about 500 yard shot on this mouflon here we shouldn't have Ooh, that one's even bigger all right so i'm gonna zero in for 400 and so it's actually saying we're looking at 520 yards let's see here we're gonna have a little bit of drop but then again what is that one there Ooh, that's a big ram too. So if I do that, we'll shoot a little bit high. And now we're going to shoot a touch low. But what I could do is hold it right on his spine and go for that shot. And I think that's probably what we're going to do. All right, there's the one right there. Smoked him. Look at the blood from here. What an incredible shot that was. Holy. Let's keep an eye on him, guys. He is not going to go far. Holy, he's still going. But he's down. He just piled up right there. He just piled up. That is a long, long ways away. Okay, we marked him. There's actually another one still standing there. It appears to be a female. But because the shot was so far out, that female never even spooked. Now, should we go for a bonus and take down the female as well? I don't see really why not. Let's see if we can't make this happen. Well, we hit her. Definitely not good enough. <laughs> uh, is it just me or why can I not see blood from the initial shot on that mouflon? But yet over here, you can see incredible blood from the big ram that we shot. Either way, she's down. And so that's a pretty heck of a nice little bonus. Let's go down there and go take a look. I'm super excited to finding out how big that ram actually was. If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably a four star. For sure three, but probably a four star. I don't know. At 500 yards plus, you're talking things are going to look a lot smaller than what they really are. And if they look big at 500 plus, then it should be a giant. And I mean, honestly, like how cool is that right there? Check that out. You can see the blood right along the edge of this grass here and this little bush right there. Man, that is awesome. So I'm wondering if maybe that's where we hit. Well, first off, let's try and figure something out here once. Where were we when we took that shot? And I'm pretty sure it was right over there. Yeah, it was literally right on top of that hill. Right there. 530 yards away. So we definitely drilled something here. But I don't know. Like why there's no blood for this one. Oh, here's some blood. There's some lung blood right here medium i wonder if we hit it in the spine or what did we actually hit 
Dude, what a heck of a shot. 532 yard. Looks like double lung heart shot. We just skimmed the top of the heart. Wow. That's quite the impressive shot right there. And if you look closely, you can actually see the expansion from the bullet here where it took out the edge of the heart and the artery as well. Wow. So that is quite nice. But I just don't quite understand why there was like no blood anywhere. I mean, and also why did it say medium? Interesting. But we for surely know we absolutely smoked this one. And I'm really curious to find out what it was. All right, so here he is down right over here. I'm gonna move this marker. And we are in fact gonna take a picture because it could be a giant. It really could. Oh, look at the size of the curl. Dude, this is by far our biggest mouflon. I'll guarantee you that right now. I will absolutely guarantee you that. I don't know how big it is, but it's by far gonna be our biggest mouflon. Look at the size of that curl. I mean, just take a look at the size of that curl. Yeah, just like that right there. Holy, that looks good. Let's take a picture and let's find out how we did. There's our shot, 527 yard, absolutely epic double lung shot right behind the front shoulder. And it looks like our expansion just about touched the heart, but not quite. Look at that, just barely didn't hit the heart. But an absolutely incredible shot to get double lung at 527 yards. Now, let's find out how big this thing is. It's a three star. It's still a giant and that's definitely our biggest mouflon so far. 70% on the genetics, which it's actually not super good, but it's still a giant and I'm super, super happy to have him. You know, one thing that I really want to find, and I've been looking for for quite a while now, is a brown bear. Supposedly there's brown bear out here, right? And we've been checking all these valleys, like there's tracks everywhere, but I've yet to see a single brown bear. Well, we got another mouflon out there at about 400 yards. He appears to be by himself here. Oh, I would have been totally wrong because there's a whole massive herd out here at about 460. Now, one of these, I believe, should be a three-star mature, which I've seen him from before, but I'm not exactly sure which one he is. This location here is the exact location that we took down that red deer that had the rifle in his antler. Right down over there is where we took him down. So that's probably gonna be the big three. Right there, right out in the front. About 460 out. Let's get on him and see if we can get a better view yeah it's definitely the biggest one and the one in the back what's this one now you know we might be able to double up like what if we took this one down first and those didn't run that could definitely be possible so i think we actually might just do that All right. Want to get a range? 320. 400. Okay. So because we have some elevation here, we should have a little bit of bullet race. But we're going to go for the shot. That shot looked good. Oh, are they taking off? Oh, they're about to. Oh, I was about to get a shot off too. Man, that was kind of a rip because I honestly don't even know if we got a good enough shot on the one that we shot. Oh. He's slowing down. He stopped out there.
What is that one now? Dude, whatever it is, we just absolutely smoked it. Quartering away at about 600 yards. Holy. Yeah, 603 yards. Boy, was that a long ways out. And the fact that we didn't even make a vital hit at the one that was like 300, it kind of blows my mind. Like, it doesn't even really make too much sense. The shot looked good. 400, now I'm zeroing in for 320. It should have been a perfect shot, but obviously it wasn't. All right, anyways, let's get over here and go take a look at this ram that we took at about 600 yards. We never got a look at him, but I know it's for sure a ram. And it's looking like it's probably a young. All right, uh, well, this one we actually hit previously, look at. I don't remember which one this would have been. Took him at 400 yards and drop low, right below the intestine. But then we just shot today and we got him in the spine at 590 yards. It looks like that should have kept going and maybe hit intestine, but it didn't quite make it there. And it also was going right for one of the main arteries as well. Boy, that would have slowed it down for sure. And I think that actually might be why we did in fact get a vital hit. Oh, never mind. It was a two-star mature. Perfect one to take down. Absolutely horrible genetics as well. Wow, now I actually do remember trying to take a shot on this one from before. And I thought I missed, but apparently not. So, awesome. We got what I'm pretty sure are roe deer out here, and there might be one decent buck, which is right there at about 550 yards. We're laying on top of this mountain here. And yeah, we're gonna go for the shot. It's gonna be quite the ways out there. But we're gonna go for the shot. And I think probably this is gonna be the biggest one right here. That's a long ways for such a small target. She's hit, or he's hit, but not that. Well, take a look at what we just found out here now. We got a bunch of fallow. Probably 700 out there, I would say. 610 yards. So if we zero for 650. We shot right over the top of him. But that shot should have been perfect. I actually hit a little bit far forward, but maybe not. Maybe that was actually a perfect shot. We're getting some really good blood. Oh boy, that was not good. Oh, dude, he's down. He's down right there. So we did in fact make a really awesome follow-up shot because he's laying right there. But with that, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.